hello everyone welcome to the laravel advanced features so today in this video we are going to uh, import our sql files into laravel using seeders so someone asked a question that used laravel seed and sql file into populate database so you can give it a read that uh, he want to import the sql files into the database so how you can do this in the laravel so it's very simple so someone answered me so let me vote this because this is working okay so how you can do this so you need to first to unguard your model and then you need to uh, get the path of your sql file and then you need to call this db unpaired unprepared and path this path so this will insert uh, all of the content into your database so let me share my database so i have this so uh, country states and uh, this uh, one cities right okay so i have this uh, my project and i'm going to first uh, create a new seeder and in the new seeder I'm, uh, new seeder i'm going to seed the states okay so i'm going to make this php or tson make uh, seeder and what's the name of seeder i'm going to make the state seeder state to seeder hit enter and uh, let's go to the database seeders and in the seeders i'm going to make this uh, where it is it's this one okay so here you need to write your own logic so you can also de uh, define this in your database uh, seeder you can execute all at once but i'm doing this for demonstration purposes so here you need to define your model name so my model name is state because i, I want to insert the state into my database so i have prepared this file like this one this is my project name and in the project there is a public directory and in the public i have created a asset and in the asic there is a sql so there are uh, these two are sql files so i want to import this uh, states into my database and by default my states is empty so let's go to the project and here i want to first to make this unguard why i'm doing this unguard because uh, i don't want to uh, accept any ms fillable uh, ms fillable exception so you know about that session unguard or you can also make this fillable so it's upon you so you can also give it a read from here that why we use this unguard so this is a uh, properly answer uh, this one is properly answer this question and there is a link so you already know about what is ms fillable okay so let's go here and then you need to uh, get your path so sql i'm going to name this uh, state sql path okay so here you need to get the public path so my uh, files are stored in the public path that's why i'm calling this uh, public path public path and here in the public path i have a directory uh, for assets and in the asset i have a sql directory so let's go to the assets directory assets and then in the assets i have a sql directory in the sql i have a states.sql file so let's uh, double verify that our path is correct so here this one sql and states.sql that's correct and then you need to call another method so it's a db facade you need to import this at the top as well as so it's uh, added at the top and then you need to call unprepared because you need to execute the unprepared so we are going to use this through unprepared so let me explain that what is the unprepared after completing this so here you need to uh, put a method which is php native file get content path okay so, oops so let me make this uh, correct uh, here file get content okay 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 file get why my text editor is not suggesting me okay it's now it's suggested and here you need to uh, add your path this one path okay that's it you don't need to do anything so now i have uh, first to unguard our model and then i ready the path uh, i allocated our files it's this one and then i'm going to first unprepared and then i'm going to get the path and uh, insert this into the database so you can also give it a read from there that uh, why we need to uh, unpre why we need this unprepared statement when we use so mostly we use uh, some uh, mostly we use unprepared where uh, where we want, don't want to execute the statement in the unprepared like uh, 
Laravel by default uh, executes the statement in the prepared format. So we are we are inserting this from the external file. So that's why we are doing this unprepared. So you can also go to this GitHub link and uh, uh, get the more detail about what is why we use the unprepared. So I am seeding this uh, into my project. So that's why I am doing this uh, inserting this state into my project. Okay. So let's go here and uh, first I'm going to execute my country seeder. Why? Because uh, my this uh, country ID is the uh, foreign key. So that's why I need to first fill the country seeder and then I'm going to execute another one. So let me seed the countries and yes, these are seeded and now I need to uh, seed the, what is the name of our seeder? It's a state seeder. So enter state seeder and hit enter. Okay, and yes, it says that CD, uh, database seed it completed successfully. So give it a refresh. And yes, now our countries are properly seeded. So that's great. We successfully imported our SQL external Excel file data into our database using seeder. So we don't need to do anything. We need to just to implement these three lines and our SQL data is there. So that's great. So if you are interested to learn more about the Laravel, subscribe the YouTube channel and stay connected for more upcoming updates. So I will meet you in the next one. Bye bye.